Hi everybody, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to use this LED panel. This is a 64 by 32 LED matrix panel. I got this from AliExpress for about $22. And uh, here is a demo of the module running through a number of bitmap images so let's get started so here is the back i am running the led module with the arduino mega 2560 and the mega is important because it has um, more memory than the arduino uno to store many bitmap images the uno is not good not suitable for large led matrices so we're going to use this mega one and i'm going to show you how to connect to the data in connector to the arduino mega and to get it powered and working on the led module and it's important to make sure you need a 5 volt power connection with the module to run it. So um, it needs power to run the board from a USB to power the board. And also you need to power with 5 volts to the board as well. So I have both of these cable connecting to a uh, deep, uh, USB charger and the, the, the board runs fine so we have the jumper pin connecting from the mega board to the pins on the back of the led module module so yeah uh, so that's it we're gonna move up to the next step okay here is a written document that i made about running the led module so this is a 64 times 32 rgb led matrix Here's a photo of the product from the online store website. The product name is RGB LED Matrix Module P4 SMD2121. The label 24P4 is 4mm pitch. Each LED is 4mm apart. And the individual size of the LED is 2.1 by 2.1mm. It's labeled SMD2121. So it's for indoor news and it's uh, full color so the power consumption is about 6.7 watts i'm using uh, a 5 volt usb adapter to run the board so i have two cables one connecting to the arduino board and one connecting to the led matrix connecting to a usb ad adapter that's about 5 volt 2.1 amp and here is the pin connector diagram to show you how to connect to the board so basically on the back there's a data in connector where you plug in the flat jumper cable and from there you get your small jumper cable to connect to your board and you must need uh, to connect a cable that provides 5 volts 1 amp or 2 amp to run the board as well but basically the connector is you have R1, G1, B1 and ground so the first four are data pins for the colors and ground and then you have R2, G2, B2 and ground so the next four pins are the color data for the board and then you have a b c d and clock and lat so these are the four pins uh, other technical information but yeah just don't worry about it too much so just connect the cable into the uh, pin number to run the board so you have r1 here this connects to pin 24 so we go connect to pin 24 got b1 to pin 26 g1 to pin 25 
So on the board there's a ground here and two more ground here. And then there's some more ground ground pins here, but you, you wouldn't need that at the moment. There's these A0 to A3. These connects to the technical pins here. And then the other number pins connects to the color data. And you must attach a 5 volt power to the LED module to run the board to have all the lights turn on properly. So you need to power the board and the LED module. And for more information, go to these two websites to read in more detail about how to run the board. These two sites are very, very useful for you to uh, read through as well. So let's go to the next section. So why did I use the Arduino Mega? The Arduino Mega has 256 kilobyte of flash memory, which is suitable for displaying many bitmaps on the LED matrix. Each bitmap is about, let's say, 16 kilobyte to 20, 20 kilobyte, and we can store many bitmaps. While the other board, the Arduino Uno, has only 32 kilobyte of flash memory and you won't be able to store much um, and run much um, examples on the board so there's other boards that you can use as well ESP8266 it has 80 kilobytes and ESP32S it has 4 megabyte flash but um, the Arduino Mega might be accessible for you you might be able to buy it quickly and at the right price so I have the board lying around and it's not too expensive so I'm using the Arduino Mega at the moment I'll be using these other two boards as well in later on in the future alright let's go to the next section so programming the LED for the LED matrix so you need to go to the Arduino website download and install it and then let's, let's open the Arduino software. So this is the Arduino software. And we need to install these libraries to, to run the board. So how you do that is you go to Tools, Manage Libraries. And then you type in, uh, let's see let's let's do number two here we type in rgb matrix panel and we look through we can see here this is the library we need we will select that and click on install and then you need to do that for the other fruit gfx library other fruit gfx and here is the next library, Adafruit GFX. You need to install that one as well. And you need to install the Adafruit Bus IO library as well. And then finally, once you install that, you can go to File, Examples, look for RGB matrix panels, and you can run these examples, modify it, and make it your own. So let's say, I'll open up the panel GFX demo um, be aware these are designed for sm smaller boards but we can modify it to run it on our 64 by 32 module so you go in and uh, we're gonna sh I'll show you how to modify this in the next step but you need to connect your board to the computer and press upload to run it Okay, now I'm going to talk about how to run the example libraries for the 64x32 module. The examples are meant for the smaller LED boards, but uh, we can modify it to make it work on, on any board. So, so when you open the examples, so it will look like this. And also the examples we have um about one two three six about ten examples here 
but all you need to do is you need to define d if the d is not there d is a free and make sure if you're using the Arduino it's um, you need to remove the comments here to run that um, definition but we're gonna use the mega so we're gonna run the CLK pin with uh, pin 11 and also you need to add D in here and then also add 64 at the end here and then you simply run it upload to the Arduino Mega and it all the examples here should work fine so the last thing we're going to do is to convert a bitmap image for the LED matrix panel so first thing we need to do is look for a picture and then we can convert that into a C file code by going to here and then we'll add that to the code and then to load the picture uh, in the loop function we add this command called this function called draw RGB bitmap and then you put matrix show and then add in a delay and then uh, if you want to um, flash it but basically the function is um, draw RGB bitmap X and Y is the position on the board bitmap is the reference to the code and W and H is the width and height so let's go ahead and do that now look let's look for a picture so if I go to the search engine type in wallpaper let's pick one here let's do I'll do this one here I'll just copy image like that and then I'll bring into Photoshop and then I'll just paste it okay I'm going to change the size to the size of the board which is 64 and okay actually when we do that when you put in 64 make sure you set the resample to nearest neighbor it needs to be a hard edge so it's not blurry and we go okay and let's zoom in to see how it will look it will look something like this and I will change the canvas it needs to be a 32 here and I'll click OK and proceed to cut it so the image will look something like this and then I'll save this as a JPEG or a PNG actually so I'll save that as PNG and I'll label this BG background so first thing we need to do is go to this website to convert the image to a C file so this is a image converter and we simply go to browse here click on the picture we just saved and pick C file click make and then you download that file I'll save that to a folder and I'll open that folder up I'll open notepad now notepad and I'll open that file what you need to do is copy from here copy all this color data including the brackets on the bottom so I'll copy and then I'll bring into open my Arduino software open one of the examples and we, this is the header bit I'll paste the code here and it's got a string name BG and then you go to the loop function I'll copy this again these are pre-existing image that I've created and I'm gonna change the reference string here to BG 
The position starts at 0, 0. The width and height is 64 by 32. Matrix show will show the image. If you want to delay it, you set uh, how much delay it is for a second and then it will clear it to change to another image and then you simply upload that and see on the module. I'll do that. And there you go, here is the image working loaded on the module or working ready to go. So that's the tutorial guys, I hope you liked the video. Um, try yourself and see what you can use the LED module for in your circumstances. Have a great day, take it easy, bye.